Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic. Robert Rambles here and thank you so much for joining me today. We are looking for Scarlet Crusade members uh, to murder, basically, for their Scarlet Armbands. That's where we're starting off today. And we don't have a lot of direction from the quest as to where we can find these guys. However, if we follow the road... Uh, you know, they could be out here beyond Death Knell, but they're probably, they probably aren't going to be too far. I don't think they're going to be outside of the mountainous area that kind of surrounds us. I don't think they're going to be that far out. And all I see out here are bats and wolves. We know that there are spiders over to the west. Maybe we just check over here to the south before we head out of this little mountainous region. Aha! Scarlet Convert. Okay, I'm sure that these guys are going to have the armbands we need. Let's go. Yeah, Frostbolt is probably the way to go. There's one out of 12. And these guys are aggressive, so we probably don't have to be too careful, but we don't want to pull more than one of them right now. I guess if we could do one Frostbolt, two Firebolts, and a Frostbolt to be mana efficient. Speaking of mana, we need to conjure some water here so we can get some mana back. And we did forget to put our buffs up. We need to put up Frost Armor in case we are... Hit, and we need to put up Arcane Intellect so that we have a little bit more mana at our disposal. Maybe Frostbolt is just the way to go for right now. Seems like it's going to basically be 100% drop rate on the armbands, which is what you could expect from early on in the game. Ooh, she resisted that Frostbolt. Let's just go ahead and beat her down with our trusty staff. I also noticed that Fireball has a bit longer of a range than Ice Bolt. This place is crawling with these guys. Not a lot of players in this area right now at this level. We're the only ones around. Not used to that from playing on the Warriors so much. Usually there's people all over the place. Oh, Mage versus Mage. There we go, we win that one. Bye-bye. Mevin Korgel. Something tells me we are going to be back to fight that guy. Oh, look. We got too close. Uh, we'll just stand here and just get hit in the face. We don't have um, Blink yet. When we get Blink, we'll be able to escape melee range a lot easier. If we do get stuck in melee.
Let's see if we can get in here and loot without aggroing this guy. Nope, we can't. Okay, well this might not be too great for us. Let's see if we can get a little bit of range on this guy where he can't attack us. Nope, we didn't really get a lot of range at all, but we did get one Firebolt off. Um, not good, but we might live if we can get maybe two more casts off. And if he doesn't resist either one of them, we'll be okay. Okay, we got lucky. We got lucky. Had there been another mob that pulled, we, that could have been the end of us. Could have been our first death at level 5. It would have been pretty pathetic, but not beyond me. And we just need one more. Well, I guess it wasn't a 100% drop rate after all. And if I'd have been paying attention, I might have realized that sooner, but I didn't. I thought we were getting one for one. And now, of course, we kill two in a row and we don't get any. Hmm. Hmm. I call shenanigans. Give me your armband. Thank you. Oh, guys. Holy shit. We got a small green pouch. We got an extra bag before level 15. Uh, this is already a better start than the warrior. That's that's so amazing. Okay, yeah, that's really good. It's really bag space. Early game is essential. We uh, had to learn that the hard way and continue to learn that the hard way on the warrior, whose bags whose bag space still sucks to this very day. Uh, well, let's just head back and turn this in because it's the only quest that we have right now. And we'll find out what we do next. I've played these quests before, but it was, you know, back in 2005, so I don't really remember, and I didn't read them at all at the time. This had better be good. Those fools, they happily send themselves to their own graves. If only they listened to reason. Perhaps we could sit them down for a reasonable discourse. Ha! No, we didn't. We killed them all. We can't use any of these, so let's pick one that's going to sell for the most, probably the... Do we have a two-hander? Yeah, the two-hand sword will probably sell for the most coin. Let's take that. The Red Messenger. Reports from my superiors in Brill indicate that an agent of the Scarlet Crusade was dispatched from the Scarlet Monastery and sent here to Death Knell. According to the reports, the messenger p possesses important information on his person. I do not have further details, but whatever it is, we must have it. You're the most qualified person I have to send. Find that messenger and bring me whatever information you find. Kill Mevin Korgel, the messenger, at the Crusader camp. Then return any information you find to Executor Aaron. Uh, we can get a staff. Yes, please. We we need that. Uh, we need that badly. And we know where we're going because we just killed this guy. But now we have to kill him again because now he has some top secret information that we must possess. Not even worth killing the level 1 guys at this point. And we haven't picked up skinning yet, so really no point to kill beasts that we don't need yet. Um, I'm going to pick up skinning and herbalism as soon as we can. And we're going to have to fight our way in there again, no doubt. Let's just fight our way in so we don't make any mistakes. Or rather, so we minimize mistakes. I mean, let's face it, we're going to make mistakes. But if we pull carefully, we and we look around a little bit, and we check out things like this person over here, uh, we can avoid pulling mobs unnecessarily and getting ourselves killed. Because as you notice, they are pathing around quite a, quite a bit for a low-level area. Some of these guys path quite a bit and quite randomly.
And I'm not even sure if he has respawned yet. Oh, and well, his name was Mevin. Let's see if we can target him. Yeah, he's... He's up somewhere. There he is. Okay. We should be able to get to him after we kill this initiate. Oh, resisted. You ass. Scarlet Crusade documents. That's what we came here for. Let's take a look. Disperse information as you deem necessary. Tearsfall Regional Command. Captain Melrose, Captain Vachon, Captain Perrine. Directives by the Order of the High Lord. Captain Perrine, further fortify your position at the Southwest Tower, as designated. Additional supplies will be dispatched at a later date. In the meantime, material should be obtainable from the surrounding farms. Also, further reconnaissance and information should be gathered about the organization of the undead in Brill. Captain Vachon, there appears to be increased movement by the undead near the Northern Tower. This insurgence must be quickly and decisively dealt with. Captain Melrose, there are concerns about the level of organization of the undead near the borders of the Plague Lands. A fresh group of men will be dispatched to your position in the coming weeks. Glory under the light. So some communications um, to some captains about positions uh, basically around our home here. That could be very valuable information. And if you haven't seen any of the warrior playthrough at all, like any lore objects we find, like the letters and stuff we get from quests, I'll be reading all that stuff. Uh, the quest and the story and the lore, it's like the one of the biggest reasons why I'm here. And I just really wanted to absorb all that stuff as much as possible and, and really get as immersed as we can. What now? Hmm, let's see what you've got. He begins to rifle through the documents you recovered. Some news of their exploits against us, worthless. Scouting reports, new orders, continue to build up a camp near the ruined city, nothing we didn't know already. Ah, what's this? A map of the dispositions of some of their field commanders and agents? We can use this. Alright, so we know where they're at. Let's take our staff. Vital Intelligence. These will need to be taken to my superior, Executor Zygand, in Brill. With this information, we'll be able to deal a decisive blow to the Scarlet Crusade. Your services have been useful here in Deathknell, but I need someone to deliver this to Zygand, and I believe he'll be able to find you more appropriate work. Take the road north out of Deathknell. Soon after entering Tearsville proper, you'll hit a crossroads. Take the Eastern Fork and keep going east. You'll pass Cold Hearth Manor along the way. Deliver the Scarlet Crusade documents to Executor Zygand in Brill. Farewell. Okay, so go to the town of Brill. That's obviously going to be our next questing hub. Let's go check our mage trainer before we take off. And see if we have any new abilities. I don't think we've leveled yet, though, have we? No. Once we hit level 6. Once we hit level 6, we might have something else to train. Let's go vendor all of our junk, then, in that case. I have exactly what you need. Ah, uh, we could sell the sword, let's equip the staff, and we'll sell our old staff. Uh, we have a frayed robe on already. We don't need any of this other stuff, I don't think. Okay. Trust no one. And now we can head out. And I'm, I'm thinking that there's going to be some trainers in Brill that we can learn our leatherworking and our herbalism from. I'm, I'm pretty sure that will be the case. But I think we might have a little ways to run. 
it's a little weird to me that we never came to kill these other named mobs. I don't know. It's weird that there wasn't a quest for them. So many wolves and bats. And here's another quest to pick up along the way. It's probably going to lead us to the inn. And you are... A rogue's deal. Hey, mate. Do a favor for a young man who's been fighting more than his fair share of mindless zombies and spiders. I got this here letter that needs to go to Brill, to an innkeeper named Rene, or something or another. Don't really matter none what her last name is. Anyway, it's a nice cozy little place full of victims of the plague trying to make their way in the world. And it'd be a great spot for you to rest too if the need arises. You should check it out. And you do, and I'll pay you well. Okay, so go to the inn. That's fine, we're gonna go there anyway. And another quest on the crossroads here. And Brill is going to be to the east. Let's see what Death Guard Simmer wants. What would you ask of death? What have we here? You look like a fledgling mage. If you hope to prove yourself to the Dark Lady, you need to learn the ways of the Forsaken. To the west you'll find a farm. Humans infest the land like mold on a rotting corpse. And worse yet, Scarlet Crusade patrol nearby from their tower. Teach those scum a lesson and steal ten of their precious pumpkins. Once you have ten, take them to the apothecary Johan in Brill. Steal ten pumpkins from the farm to the west, just north of Death Knell. Take them to apothecary Johan in Brill. Okay. Uh, do we do this first? We're probably going to have to come back out that way anyway, won't we? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let's just head up here and see how far along the road it is. If it's just this pumpkin patch right up here, and if there aren't a lot of other players collecting the pumpkins off the ground, we could probably just knock this one out. Uh, depending, of course, on the level of these guys. Um, well, they're level 6 and 7. Are they, are they grouped up? Let's try to pull this guy and see if we get both of these. We didn't. Oh, we did. <laughs> I don't know if we're ready for this yet. Oh, look at this. No! <laughs> it's going to be our first death if we don't get out of here. Okay. Listen to this new plan. Listen to this new plan. The new plan is that we go to Brill first. We pick up some quests there. And we will head back to the pumpkin patch once we've tr gained a couple levels. Uh, like, at least one level and we've trained. Um, we don't... Yeah. Let's do that. We're going to do that, guys. How's that sound? No, we pulled three there. Uh, the two guys, maybe we could have handled the two humans. The the Dark Hound is what it was. Oh look, Gordo has a quest. Why wouldn't he? Master wants weeds. Us got's big hands and not good picking. Good, not good at picking. You help us, and we not hurt you. Us need gloomweed. Many weeds around here and near road. When you have Gloomweed, you take to Master Holland in Brill, a graveyard. Collect three Gloomweed and deliver them to Junior Apothecary Holland. A lot of quests out here, like, before we get to Brill. And some of it is stuff that it seems like we could do on the way, but the Pumpkin Patch one was, like, a little out-leveled. With level 6 and 7 um, humans nearby. Let's see if we can find some of this Gloomweed, though. I suppose we could just keep heading this way. And we can look around. He said near the bridge? Okay. Around here and near Old Road. Not 100% sure, like, what the Old Road is. But I know Brill is this way. Um, wow, we're just getting into trouble pulling all kinds of nasty things, and that's a level 8 Dark Hound. We aren't going to mess with that. I didn't see a single Gloomweed. 
Nothing that looked even... Oh, look at that. We leveled just by discovering Cold Hearth Manor. Uh, that's great. Okay, so we're level 6 now, which means uh, we should be able to find... Ooh, okay. These guys are enemies. We should be able to find a mage trainer eventually. What do you uh, Taylor, we don't we don't need that right now. Eventually, we will probably go tailoring, like we discussed in episode one. But for now, we're gonna go leatherworking and herbalism, just to collect stuff to sell. Basically, we just we just need to make money as much money as quickly as we can. Is basically my objective. Uh, I see down here there's some gloom weed. We only need three. My, my only concern is that I know we're going to be back out here to probably fight some of these very guys. And so I kind of want to go into Brill first and pick up some quests there. But there will probably be like a million quests, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, like already I see a quest right here. And we're not even in the town yet. Death Guard Dillinger. What is it? A putrid task. Scourge have trickled into Tearsfall Glades and have infested the area west of Brill near the old bridge. Go there and beat back the rotting dead and ravaged corpses you find. Scatter their bones and bring back their putrid claws. And the Death Guards will reward you. Bring seven putrid claws to Death Guard Dillinger in Brill. So those are the guys back by the bridge where the gloom weed just was. And yeah, see, we're going to need to Remember. fight those guys anyway. So if we had stopped to collect those gloom weed, we'd have had to fight them. Then we'd have to fight them again for this quest. And so it's probably going to be good to grab all the quests here for now. And then run back out and kind of tackle everything all at once in a, in a way that makes sense. Just kind of checking things out. This is obviously the graveyard. No need to be here yet. We might end up here soon enough against our own volition. And one of our turn-ins is over here. And the other is in the inn. So here's Zygon. He gets to ha be on a fiery-ish... No, kind of fiery. Not real fiery. He's on a mount. That's cool. Here's the letter. Yes, this is very good. You've done well in obtaining this information. Hmm, names of the officers in Tearsfall Glades. Imagine the blow we could deal to the morale of those bloody zealots if we were to kill their leaders in one swift strike. Yeah, that would be quite a blow. At war with the Scarlet Crusade. The documents Executor Aaron provided are just the break we needed in our battle with the wretched Scarlet Crusade. We now know their exact locations throughout Tearsfall Glades. But the Death Guard has larger concerns. The Lich King's army grows in number with each night. We need someone with initiative like yourself to drive the Scarlet Crusade to the grave. Prove to me that you are capable of serving the Dark Lady by traveling west to the tower past the Salison farmstead and slay ten Scarlet Warriors. Bring Executor Zygon of Brill wants you to kill. Sorry, he wants us to kill, not bring him anything. Ten Scarlet Warriors. See, and those are the guys that are going to be out near the pumpkin patch. So again, had we done that first, we would have had to go back anyway in that area to fight these guys. They might not be the exact guys, but I, I'm pretty sure they're nearby. Watch your back. No, we don't need a guild, Galahad, but thank you. Um, let's see. I probably do need a guild, honestly, but I'll pass. I'm listening. And here's the quest we picked up on the road that was just the breadcrumb, breadcrumb quest to lead us to the inn. Oh, a letter? What wonderful news. I've been waiting on word from my dear old mother in death now. Such a saint she is. I wonder how she's holding up. What? Too cheery? Not buying it, are you? Well, get lost then. It's really no business who's the letter's from anyway. Go on, get lost. Come back when you've got some coin to spend, loafer. Next thing you know, you'll be coming back to rest after a long day's adventure or something stupid like that. Uh, yeah, you're just peachy. Dark lady, watch over okay, you. we'll take the water and the experience, and we're probably just going to set our hearth here. What is it? And we should also see if we could locate 
the mage trainer. Maybe they will be upstairs. Aha! That wasn't what so hard. Ah, uh, we could conjure food. And there we go, Fire Blast. And already we're getting rank 2 of Fireball. Look how much this is costing us, though. It's going to be very expensive to keep up with all these spell ranks. And that's going to be another huge reason why we need as much coin as we can get as early on as we can get it. So we need inventory space, and we need our gathering professions. Maybe we should be looking for those as well. I did see the first aid trainer. Let's just check for herbalism or skinning up here before we go too far. All I see is class trainers in this room. Priest trainer, rogue trainer, journeyman enchanter. Okay, so I bet somewhere in this town there's going to be leather worker for skinning. And then an herbalist. Now where exactly they're at? Uh, well, we'll have to find them. Trade supplies. Leather armor merchant. Weaponsmith. Armorer. Okay. Horse merchant. Horse riding. Here's the herbalist. Okay. Hello. There's herbalism. Journeyman Alchemist. We really need to find the skinning trainer. There's got to be one, just because there's lots of beasts here, so it wouldn't make sense for them not to have a leather worker. Uh, let's check this out, though. We have Fields of Grief already. Let's check out what else Apothecary Johan has. A new plague. Let's see. Lady Sylvanus has called upon the Royal Apothecary Society. The Dark Lady believes our knowledge, coupled with newfound magic, will provide the key to Arthas' demise. She has challenged us to concoct a new plague, a plague deadlier than any element on Azeroth. This new disease will bring Arthas' scourge army to ruin. My studies show that the blood of beasts might prove to be the key. Bring to me five vials of dark hound blood so I can test my theory. Apothecary Johan in the town of Bro wants you to collect five vials of dark hound blood. Trust no one. Okay. Yeah, there's lots of dark hounds out there. That's, uh,. Definitely, definitely something we can do. However, we need to find the leather worker. I don't think he's going to be in the city hall building, but somebody will be, and they'll probably have a quest. Aha! A quest. If there's a town hall building, someone in there is going to have a quest, okay? It's just common sense. Magistrate Severin. The mass graves southwest of Garen's haunt to the north. Wait, the mass graves southwest of Garen's haunt to the north were made to accommodate the impressive number of deaths Tiraswell suffered when the plague first came. The bodies in these graves have so far been spared in undeath, but the scourge now send rothide knolls to gather the corpses and use them to bolster their armies. This cannot be allowed. Your task is twofold. Slay the rot hides at the mass grave and Garen's haunt, and gather from them the embalming ichor that gives them life. Kill the rot hide grave robbers and rot hide mongrels, and bring six embalming ichors to Magistrate Severin. Okay, that's multifaceted quest. North of the southwest, like it had some pretty interesting instructions. Um. Yeah. We'll find, we'll find it, you know. Wherever there are gnolls, we will find them. Rotting or otherwise. Alright, um, I wonder I am if they can tell us. Um, leatherworking. A camp along the side of the road. Aha! We're actually going to head down there first, I think. Um, I want to get leatherworking immediately so that we can skin all the beasts that we kill you know otherwise it'd be like a waste like we can get these dark hounds for blood but if i fight them right now i can't skin them we don't have a skinning knife either and so if i don't turn around and buy that um all might be for not would that be general supplies or trade supplies i guess we'll check both Hello. 
Hello. Uh, what do you have? Nope. Do not what? No. Oh, we don't even have enough. We don't even have enough silver or copper for a skinning knife, guys. How pathetic! How pathetic is that? Okay, that's about to go on hold then. Um, well, we can go down here and, and train it, but we're not gonna have we're not gonna have the knife anyway. It's fine. We'll go train it. We'll fight some dark hounds along the way through a hillside, right through the hillside, because that's how awesome our magic is. He's taking a lot of hits. Uh, I am concerned that we need to go into our spell book and pull out those spells we just we just trained. Uh, let's open that up. Uh, we need... Okay, so this is rank 1. It needs to be rank 2. Okay, rank 2. That's going to deal more damage. So that's going to be 31 to 45 damage instead of 16 to 25. And then we need Fire Blast. And Fire Blast is instant cast. And it blasts the enemy for 24 to 32 fire damage. Uh, we also learned how to conjure food. So that's awesome. Let's go ahead and use that now. Let's put our buffs back up because they are about to tick off. We're looking up here. Uh, and now we have food and water. There we go. Okay, uh, now we're a little more prepared to to do some combat. I don't think we need dust bats. No. We don't. Oh, and there's a quest over here to boot. What is it? Well, now we technically have the skill, but we don't have the What do you require? We don't have the supplies. Oh, that was, yeah, we just trained skinning. Okay, two different skills, guys. Skinning, leatherworking. We aren't doing leatherworking. We're just doing skinning. Let's get it straight, Robert. What is it? Rear guard patrol seems interesting. The defenders on the bulwark protecting Tyrus Fall from the plague lines are on constant alert, but sometimes Scourge will slip past them. Our success at the bulwark depends on a one front battle. We cannot allow an attack from the rear, nor can we allow our defenders supply line to be cut. Assist the bulwark, patrol east and slay any Scourge you find. Spend particular effort at, at the Balinar farmstead to the east. It has become a haven for interloping Scourge. Kill eight bleeding horrors and eight wandering spirits. Um, is this something we can do at this level? No. <laughs> it's red, and that means that it's quite a bit out of our level range at level six. We're going to have to wait until this is more within our grasp, obviously. And so let's uh, let's just run back up towards Brill because we're going to be going in basically the opposite direction. We're going to head northeast. And we're going to look for Gloomweed. We're going to get some Dark Hounds. Um, what else are we going to do along the way? The Putrid Claws. And I don't know about the Pumpkins yet. Maybe now that we're level 6 and we have gotten some new abilities, we should be able to take those guys on. So yeah, we'll probably do that too. Let's just head out to the to the northeast here and see what, we can get, what kind of trouble we can get into. Alright, the cool thing is now that we have Herbalism, we can do Find Herbs and we can actually track the Gloomweed on the minimap, which is basically like being able to cheat on this quest. <laughs> and so let's grab that. And this just turns back into the Apothecary back in Brill, I think, so we won't run right back. We'll hold on to these and we'll turn it in whenever we hearth back there. But I thought that was very cool. I thought there were a lot of herbs nearby for us and then I realized, nope, it's just literally tracking the Gloomweed. Which is great. Because otherwise, you know, we might have had a hard time finding a lot of it. Uh, what about these guys? Ravaged corpses. Can these guys drop the putrid claws? I think so. Ooh, he resisted our instant cast fire blast. That sucks. It's on an 8 second cooldown, so we can't use it all the time. 
These guys might not be what we need right now. That fire blast is pretty. Oh, they do have the claws. Just not 100% drop rate. Fire blast is pretty powerful. 32 damage on an instant cast spell. Yeah, please. All right, there's silver leaf around here somewhere. There it is, hiding in, in the greater bush. Hiding in the greater bush. Failed attempt, because we suck at herbing right now. We need to get better. Look at how hard we're trying. There we go, okay. And where are we at here? So the, the solace and farm set is way over there, and that's where the pumpkins were. We can, we can keep making our way there, but we probably need to kill a few things here to get enough of these claws. That didn't do a lot. We're really starting to burn through some mana with those higher level spells. Let's see if we can finish this guy off. Fire Blast got it. Go ahead and drink, and we can eat as well, restoring both our mana and our health. Health is obviously, we're going to restore faster than mana because we have much less health and a lot of mana already. That's a nice combo, but it takes up half of our, half of our mana. Could probably run around for a minute and let our passive regen kick in just a little bit. Let's just see what it's like if we mainly rely on Frostbolt. Frostbolt is really not doing like a ton of damage because it's only rank 1. Whereas right now we have Fireball rank 2, so it just deals comparably so much more damage. Kind of hoping at level 7 we'll get rank 2 of Ice Bolt, but it's gonna, a Frostbolt, but it's gonna cost us a lot of silver to keep up with all these new ranks of these spells, you know? It's gonna get very, very expensive, guys. At least the drop rate is pretty good for this. I wonder if it's worth checking out the inside of that building. Probably. And then they stop dropping claws. It's okay. Totally fine. Let's go over here. Oh, we've already... Have we been in this building? Yes, we have. Totes been in there. I don't know why I thought we hadn't. Probably because I'm tired. That could be why, but it's okay. I love the arrow through his head. That's awesome. Like somebody tried really hard, but... Ooh, scroll of protection. Let's just use that. Just gonna increase our armor. Not too useful because we don't really want to be getting hit anyway, but in this case, if we do get hit, we'll have a little boost to our armor, and that can only help us, so... Okay, are there actual herbs up here somewhere? Yes. Somewhere there's an actual peace bloom. There we go. And again, these herbs, I'm just going to sell all of them. Um, the earlier stuff, I'll probably sell, I'll just vendor it, unless auction house prices have gone way up. 
But I'm gonna make a solid attempt to urban skin everything that I can. That way we can just maximize how much coin we have coming in and hopefully be able to afford things like our skills and a mount one day. Ask our warrior what it's like at level 40 without a mount and he will cry and tell you that it's awful. Because at level 40, quests are pretty spread out, the areas are big, and you just have to do a lot of running around to get a lot accomplished, so you really need to have your mount money as soon as you can get that 100 gold together. Failed attempts. I love the failed attempts. They happen less and less as, it, as time goes on, but... Ooh, we need Darkon blood too, don't we? See if we can just melee him down. We don't have a lot of mana left. Obviously, we can't. Well, we can't cast anything. We can cast a frostbolt, but it's probably not worth it. As soon as we go five seconds without casting, the regen's gonna kick in. So it's better just to maybe melee at the end and let that regen start ticking, than to try to cast another frostbolt for like twelve HP. Well, let's loot. Firstly. More linen. The linen I'm going to have to stash in the bank, so I'm going to have to make uh, a hard bank alt to mail the linen to, and then when we get later on, when we can... When we have the gold that we need from our gathering, we're going to go with tailoring. And so we'll have all of our... All of our cloth set on standby for then. Let's go over here and grab this. I've been kind of like prancing around it. Let's just get it out of the way. Oops. And we're, we're, we're halfway to the farm. We might as well keep going to the farm. We can grab a few claws on the way back if we need to. You know, or, or we could finish up the Putrid Claws and the Darkon Blood. And at least get those turned in and see if they chain into anything else that leads us further out. Maybe we ought to do that than to be in the middle of like seven different quests at once. Uh, because if we go out to the pumpkin patch, then we have those scarlet guys that are nearby, but a little further on, and we'll end up fighting them too, and then before we know it, we'll have like, just eight quests all in process. Let's see if we can't wrap up the Darkhound Blood and the Putrid Claws, so a new plague and a Putrid Task. Should be able to get that accomplished pretty swiftly right here in this area. Like how some of the hounds are level 8 and some are level 5, that's like a pretty huge <laughs> level discrepancy. It's interesting. You don't see that kind of thing in retail World of Warcraft. Obviously with scaling, you just you just don't see it. Of course now the dark hounds are just gone. Oh, Dark Hounds, there were tons of you before. Where are you? Well, we can grab a few more of these guys. Oh, he resisted. What an ass. And he didn't even drop a claw. He resisted and he didn't drop a claw. What a jerk. Some undead have just no manners, I tell you. Look at all these resists we're getting. 
Uh, low mana, yeah, I'd say. That's uh, pretty low mana. Uh, we'll just watch our girl whack away. Flame Blast. Totally wasted the mana, but... Sometimes you just get impatient and you need to throw off a good Flame Blast in somebody's face. Alright, one of you guys will eventually drop uh, a couple claws for us. You know? Anytime. Hot dodge and a miss. There we go. So we'll get him eventually. There's our reward. I really want a wand. I want a wand so bad. Uh, you know. It would just be better. Okay, there's all the claws we need. Now, we just need some more Dark Hounds. Which, I feel like we could find them in any direction that we go. So let's just head back towards Brill. And we'll go off-road a little bit. And we'll see. Aha. Uh -huh. Nothing on him. Let's go up into the hills a little bit. I don't see any mobs out here at all. Not sure what we're going to find on top of the rise here. Um, well, we found a dark hound down there. Let's check this way. Okay, we got a couple of targets. They're not exactly as close as they once seemed, but um, but they're visible nonetheless. So we'll go after what we can see. Stingy meat. Yeah, you are being rather stingy. Rather stingy with your blood. We could be boiling it all away with the fire, I guess. Freezing it with the frost bolts, for that matter. There we go. We need to make some more water. We need to conjure some more food. And then we need to eat and drink. Oh yeah, yeah, guys, we could skin if we had a knife, which we don't. But I bet we have enough money now to buy one, so that's going to be next on the agenda. Obviously requires a skinning knife. Uh, but it is okay. Oh look, another player, and they're fighting the Dark Hounds we need. How dare they? Undead Warrior? Psh. Okay, it's fine, we'll grab this one. Alright, that is that. Where are we at here? Oh, we're right by Brill. That's beautiful. Okay, one turns in right in this building, one turns in out down the road. Does that better be good? Have you collected five vials of Darkhound blood yet? Time is fleeting. Yes, we have, actually. You have done well, and I thank you for your efforts. All right, weak troll's blood, blood potion, what's next? While you were collecting samples for me, my experiments led me to realize that more reagents will be required for this new disease to spread properly. Poisoning some hapless victim is child's play. Plaguing an entire world proves to be a bit more complicated. I will need five vile thin scales from Murlocs in the vicinity. 
you will find the creatures along the coast to the north or to the west. Okay, yeah. We can put that on the agenda. Murlocs? I hate Murlocs. Who doesn't? They run. They have social aggro. They're ranged sometimes. Sometimes they're casters. They're all over the place. So, yeah, we'll definitely kill some Murlocs for the greater good. And let's turn in a uh, future task here. What would you ask to Death, Death Guard Dillinger. Have you completed the task with which I have charged you? Do you have those putrid claws? I do. Well done. I regret not being there to see you smash those undead into riding pulp. And he has another quest for us. The mills overrun. The Scourge are trying to form a base at the Agamond Mills. If they do, then they can stage further attacks within Tirasfall. The orders have been given. The Scourge in the mills must be destroyed. Go to the mills. Collect notched ribs from the rattle cage and cracked skull soldiers, and blackened skulls from dark eye bone casters. To get to the mills, follow the road west. After crossing the bridge, take the next fork north and keep going north. When you see windmills, the battle will begin. We need five notched ribs and three blackened skulls. Alright, so we're going to be Where doing a I lot of stuff here. So it's probably good that we ran back because I think a lot is going to go on north of Solace and Farmstead. Maybe north of here as well. So this is probably going to be a good time for us to take a break. Well, let's turn in Gloomweed first. Why not? It's right here. It'll probably chain into something too. What's this? Gloomweed? I've no need for Gloomweed. That mindless mass of flesh is out there picking daisies and convincing the lady knows how many dupes like you into doing the same. No offense. Very well. You're here now and that's all that matters. Since I'm not going to bother to try to explain things to that abomination, how about you collect what I really need? Doom weed. Well, dude, we'll collect any kind of weed you want, to be honest. Let's see. Doom weed. So you can see the predicament that I'm in. That thing is out there collecting the wrong weeds. I'll make it worth your while to gather what I need. Bring back to me enough doomweed, and I'll give you a suitable reward. Is a misdemeanor's amount enough? I mean, what do we need here? It is my understanding that they like to plague the flora near the mass gravesite to the north of the Brill graveyard. Hurry and be mindful of the knolls in the area. He needs ten doomweed, and we gotta bring him back here. Alright, yes. If you want something done right, do it yourself, or don't task an abomination to do it. Obviously, it's an abomination. It has, like, no brains. It has meat for brains. All right, I'm going to run to the inn so we can get that sweet rested experience, and we will take a break here in Brill. When we come back, we'll head out to the pumpkin patch. We'll kill some scarlet guys. We'll look for gnolls. Um, we'll be doing a bunch of stuff, I'm sure, because we have a ton to do here still. And I'm actually having a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, I really appreciate you being here. I appreciate the support. It means a lot to me. Take care, and we'll see you again soon.